Here we are, the best week in October, baseball playoff time. So we start this week's Explore Tulsa with a place to hold your celebration. Then the best seat in the house. Followed by shopping memories. Plus the King and Jinx America. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. Hello, it's wonderful to have you with us once again for this week's Explore Tulsa. You know, Trish, each week we invite people to send us an email to stevie at exploretulsa.com if they either want to be on the show or know someone it might be or have some story or some place that we should feature on the show. Right, and that's just what Dr. Jerome Wade did in order to introduce us to the Okapi Event Center. Dr. Wade and his partner, Dr. Suzanne Thompson, created the event center as a way to give back to the community they serve and have come to love. We wanted a place that people would feel at home, feel comfortable, feel cozy, uh, a place that was private. And we wanted to make sure, uh, whether it was uh, 50 people or 300 people, it was an intimate space that they felt belonged to them once they you know, would be involved with this venue. Well, the day job is uh, I'm a neurologist. So my main specialty as a physician is to care for people who've had strokes, brain injuries, injuries to the arm and leg, seizures, those type of things that we do. Well, even though I was a nurse and physician, I always did events. I was raised in a family that we celebrated every occasion, and so, uh, from, a, I would say from elementary school, we would do our own birthday parties and uh, dinners and we would all learn how to decorate. Dr. Thompson is the interior decorator. Uh, she has many tasks and uh, our idea was a first class place for first class people. When I entered Tulsa, uh, and joined this community approximately 35 years ago, we started a lot of community events because we felt that if we're working in the community, we want to give back to the community. And so we're doing the health fair for the adults, the children, doing the clothing drive. We found the need to have a place where people could feel more comfortable and we didn't have to search for all the other things that we didn't find at the places we used in the past. Well, uh, my, my partner, uh, Dr. Thompson, she came up with the name Okapi. Okapi is a very unusual animal from the Congo. It has a body like a horse, legs like a zebra, a head like a giraffe with a beautiful blue tongue, and in fact we have two in the Oklahoma City Zoo. So uh, it was known for being very sec seclusive and very protective as a mother. So it's camouflage that allowed it to blend in. So when people come here, they can blend into the surroundings and really enjoy whatever event that they choose to have. As you enter the lobby, the foyer area, we like that welcoming. That's a welcoming area for people to come in and meet and greet and relax while they're waiting for their event. Uh, also, the bathroom is right down the hall. People, especially women, like to go in and touch up and powder up. Once they enter the ballroom, it's a wow, right? Because usually it's decorated to suit the occasion. And with every occasion, there's different lights, different colors, and it's always fascinating because people have their own ideas, and if they give us the ideas, we'll put it together. They have their slideshows, and then most people have their own caterers. That's one of the things we like about us in that we don't force anyone to use the caterers that we recommend. We have a full commercial kitchen and the caterers love the kitchen because they have warmers, refrigerator, freezer, stoves, and also there is, we have a commercial ice machine and we offer ice just uh, as a complimentary. And once they're there enjoying the food and music, at dancing, people will like to come out to the courtyard, especially for the weddings. The bride and the bridal party like to come out and take pictures in the courtyard. 
being a physician, you're happy when you can help patients. So anytime you can make people feel comfortable, feel better, put a smile on their face, so it really, it, it flows right over. And so it makes us uh, very pleased when we see people leave that said this was a great event. I really like that they found this unique animal from the Congo to name their beautiful event center after. I need to find an animal from the Congo to be your nickname. Let's just stick to Trish. If you'd like to learn more about the event center or how to schedule an event for yourself, visit ocopycenter.com or look them up on Facebook. We should call you the Bongo. Keep it up and I'll, I'll come up with a couple nicknames for you too. Would you call me a master craftsman? Probably not, but the furniture found at our next stop is definitely built by people who have that level of expertise. The Yoders have some of the best handmade furniture that you'll find anywhere and you'll learn all about it next when we visit the Amish Crafted Furniture Store. Just ahead with more Explore Tulsa. I want to get a new TV. There's like a thousand different brands, all with different features. I wish I could make sense of it all. What do you think is best? You should go to Video Revolution. Their experts will tell you everything you need to know. They carry the latest LED and 4K TVs and will even install it and set it up for you too. She's right. You wouldn't talk to anyone but your dentist about your bicuspid. So when it comes to home entertainment, only trust the experts at Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Welcome to Video Revolution's new Dolby Atmos surround theater room. This is our new theater room that features our 11 speaker array which provides you with an immersive surround sound experience and allows you the same technology found in theaters now brought to your home. This system features a Sony ES 4K projector which will allow you the best resolution in video on the market. This new Atmos theater system allows us a height experience added to our surround sound environment. So now we can be truly surrounded by speakers not only around us, but also above us as well. So now when producers master an audio track for a movie, they can treat sounds as objects and strategically move them around your listening position to provide you the best in experience and immersion into the movie. With this projection system in combination with the projection screen that rejects ambient lighting, we're now able to actually have more lighting in a theater room than ever before without any detriment to the picture experience. Our Atmos theater is also controlled through our RTI controls panel, which allows us to control the lighting as well as the actual scenes for the players. One keypad on the wall or a simple iPad control interface that we can design for you means no need to handle messy remotes. I can tell you about this all day, however the only way to really experience it yourself is come down and see me at Video Revolution. Hi again, and thanks for continuing to make Explore Tulsa a part of your day. Now I'm guessing like many people, I never knew that much about the Amish except what I saw on TV when they'd ride those horse and buggies. Even though that is still part of their life, there are many other elements of their lifestyle that oftentimes become a part of ours. Like the handcrafted furniture that the Yoder family has brought to Tulsa with their stores, Amish Crafted Furniture. The furniture's all made in Indiana, um, all made by the Amish. I am from uh, Shoto, Inola, which is about 30 miles east of Tulsa. I was born and raised there, um, Amish actually. So I was had a somewhat of an inside connection on the Amish furniture, or knowing the people to contact to get into the business. And it was a unique lifestyle. Um, all my friends had electricity and TVs and radios, and um, I went out and rode bikes and rode horses and um, had fun. I wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't change the way I grew up for nothing. You, you can buy inexpensive and, and you can buy um, more expensive, but there's no real, real wood until we saw our craftsman's furniture. And um, really there's an immediate difference in uh, just telling the difference in the quality. Uh, the quality is just the best that it can be. They, everything they do, the uh, Amish, uh, they do the best of their ability, and it's, you know, whether it's making furniture or cooking or quilting or um, whatever it is. Um, but the furniture itself, they, uh, they use all solid woods, hardwoods. Um, 
it's there's tongue and groove, there's uh, dovetail drawers, there's uh, mortise and tenon uh, in the construction, which is very high quality. Uh, there's approximately 20 different vendors that I buy from. Uh, for instance, the guy that makes tables, that's all he makes is tables. Uh, and the man that makes chairs, the same thing, and china hutches and uh, bedrooms. So um, they all kind of focus on one or a few items, but then they'll make a big variety of that item, whatever it might be. Uh, but the man that makes tables um, makes approximately 80 different styles of tables. And then every uh, style he makes in different dimensions and different options. So, And actually, um, on my mom's side, we have a lot of craftsmen um, who work in the, in the shops. So um, we get to go in there and see kind of how they do things and um, kind of helps us, uh, I guess, sell it. Uh, it was always sort of a stepping stone, you know, I started out uh, working on a dairy farm when I was 16 and then for extra money on the side or whenever my dad would need the help I'd deliver for him like he said. And uh, I don't know, it, it was a, a small part of my life but it was huge for our family. Um, but the more I got into it and the more I saw the opportunity in it, the more I valued all the time that I did spend in it. My sons, when, uh, when they were still in high school, started helping deliver the furniture um, and just grew into the business and are a big, big asset to the business today. Um, they'll continue on with the business one day. Seeing a satisfied customer is, makes it the whole thing worth it to me. Uh, we, we create a friendship and a bond between our customers, which is priceless. When a customer will call or send a note saying how much they appreciate uh, from the sales staff to the delivery part of the uh, uh, purchase that they made is very rewarding. I do. I do remember the first item I sold was a plaque of the Lord's Prayer, which was awesome. because. Uh, I base uh, my business uh, solely upon the Lord to guide and direct me, and um, that was a confirmation that I needed to continue on. The Amish furniture is so beautiful, and it's made pretty sturdy too, it'll probably last forever. To learn more about the furniture offered by the Yoders for yourself, visit okamishfurniture.com. You know what I need at my place? Furniture that has comic book themed characters. Not sure the Amish can help you out there, but Dana and Nicholas at the Tin Penny and Quizzy Shop in Broken Arrow could hook you up. Then that's where we're going to take our adventure next, Trish, to Broken Arrow and beyond when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. John Erling with Voices of Oklahoma. Our great state has been home to countless individuals whose place in history has been earned through each of their many accomplishments. Voices of Oklahoma's mission is to preserve their story in an oral history presentation like none other. Accounts direct from famous Oklahomans, political figures, and many others who have left their indelible mark on the development, history, and future of Oklahoma. So please, treat yourself by listening to those who are the Voices of Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Rob Lowe. And I have direct TV. And I'm super creepy, Rob Lowe. And I have cable. With Direct TV, you get 99% signal reliability. Now that's reliable. My cable's out, so I'm down at the rec center watching folks swim. I love that I can watch my shows and be worry-free. And I love the smell of other people's hair. Don't be like this me. Get your Direct TV upgrade and custom installation today from Video Revolution, your official Tulsa area Direct TV connection. At Video Revolution, our home entertainment experts have been designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use for over 30 years. From flat panel LED TVs to 4K projector systems, the top name brands are here at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to our business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. Video Revolution, Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge technology. 
Hi, this is Ken McLeod, publisher of Golf Oklahoma, and you're watching Explore Tulsa. If you're like me and don't mind sharing your office with a few famous superheroes, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Oh yeah, you mean all, all your toys? These aren't toys. They're one-of-a-kind classic collectibles. I fight for truth and justice. That happen to do some pretty cool stuff. Well, if you have someone in your life like Stevie here, then you'll want to stop in at the Tin Penny and Quizzy's new location in Broken Arrow. Check this out. Your plan will never work, Syndrome. Uh, my son enlightened me on a lot of uh, ins and outs of the comic world. It was interesting to me, we were going through some comics and I saw Jerry Lewis. Okay, so this brings back a lot of memories for me because I absolutely love Jerry Lewis. But I had no idea that he ever had a comic book. And so um, Nick goes, Mom, everything started out with a comic book. You know, it really started with my daughter and I, you know, had this vision to help aged out foster kids. I had a lady um, that talked to me about a child that she knew that had aged out of the foster care that, you know, was in dire need of some help. And at that time, I really, like probably, you know, 50% of the people in Tulsa, they don't realize that kids age out of the foster system and they have nowhere to go and they have a lot of times they don't have any structure, background or anyone to care for them or point them in the right direction. Um, so um, I was really shocked and I, at that time I'm like this is this is my calling to to help in this area and whatever I can do and so I had a, a builder that had called me and said hey um, have all this stuff we're kind of downsizing and I know you have a big family so you want to come over and see if you want to take this well it was so much stuff we had to rent a storage building and then that kind of got the ball rolling on hey let's just open up a shop so we can get rid of this and you know make money and help you know what were the cause that we're trying to move forward to and so that's kind of what started the whole thing just a passion of mine to, uh, to open up a thrift and, and uh, antique collectibles and uh, my son you know was into comics and stuff and I said well that's a you know a great mix of things for people. The things that I would think people would look for are um, you know we sell a lot of things um, that we put out but sometimes something will sit there for you know a month and you think wow I really thought that would go quicker and they just walk right past it and go to you know a doll that you think oh that won't sell for it's just everybody has their own little things that they treasure and um, they uh, go back to their child oh I remember playing this when I was you know and I had this game system and um, you know or I had this figure or and it's the same thing with the antiques um, or the vintage items, you know, it's just memories most of the time, you know, and they just kind of want to go back to that memory. And then there's a lot of collectors that will come in and they have their lists of things that they already have and lists that they don't have. And so they're coming in trying to fill their list of the things that they don't have. And um, we've been really happy that we've been able to provide that for a lot of people because um, we do buy sell trade and so we get a lot of items that you know people haven't seen in a long time like Space Jam you know, just don't find Space Jam anywhere um, and so we're really happy when people come in and they find something and they're like oh my gosh I haven't seen this I've been looking for this you know so yeah it's great Yeah, it's been um, a really good experience. And the thrift as well, you know, we try to keep our prices lower than anybody else um, because we do want to be able to help the community to save money. And um, that's why we have the thrift, and plus it helps the, you know, our cause and our passion. And um, we, we just try and keep all of our costs as low as we can keep them. 
Dun dun dun! Man, they have some pretty cool comic books, games, and even some speed racer stuff too. Oh yeah, every girl's dream. But Dana's pretty smart by having other antiques and collectibles in the Ten Penny as part of the store. Visit QuizzyShop.com or look them up on Facebook to learn more. Oh, have you been keeping up with football this season, Stevie? I sure have. Booker T, Union, Broken Arrow, and Jinx all looking pretty strong this season. Yeah, one of the secrets to Jinx's success has to be longtime play-by-play -play announcer Don King. Don is the man when it comes to calling all the action. And we'll meet him next with more Explore Tulsa. Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, and, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie, well done. <laughs> we are now going to see the tunnel that Wade Phillips had dug out for himself. This tunnel has not been opened in many, many decades for his safety. We're going in right now. And you're watching Explore Tulsa. No big secret, football in Oklahoma is king. So this week on Explore Tulsa, we decided to introduce you to the voice you hear while listening to play-by-play -play coverage of the Jinx Trojans on AM 1430 The Buzz. The Trojans are red hot once again this season, looking to four-peat for the state championship. And every Friday, you can count on Don King to bring us all the action. Back in the 60s, when TU played uh, basketball at the Pavilion, my sister is blind and she went to TU, so she was a big sports fan. I took her to a basketball game and the batteries in her radio went out, so I ended up having to announce the game to her when I was about 10 years old. So walking out, she said, you know, you did about as good a job as the announcer did and the light bulb clicked on, so I'm fortunate to be doing what I've wanted to do since I was about 10 years old. came in uh, 1980, but it was really the oil business uh, that brought me to, uh, to Tulsa. I had dabbled it still in sports, but had gotten married, had a couple of boys, and uh, couldn't really make it on small radio income, so had to get into the family uh, business, and we ended up selling our business, moving to Tulsa, and then uh, from there, in 1980, I got a chance to do some work for Teleproductions Unlimited, which was a freelance production company that did a lot of high school sports, college sports for Tulsa Cable. And then uh, ended up with Jinx on our radio station on The Buzz and started doing their games on the radio since 2003. So I've been fortunate. My first Jinx Union game was 1988. So that goes back probably farther than just about anybody. Right now, Coach and I are trying to develop a little record book uh, for Jinx over the years. So when you look at the names of Rocky Calmus and Sean Mahan, who went on to play in the NFL, Garrett Mills, who went on to play in the NFL and was a great player at TU, uh, Kiwan Jones with some of his exploits at, at Jinx, uh, the names go on and on. It's just amazing how a lot of those kids have grown up through the system as, as youth football players emulating the high school players and I think that's one of the big reasons for their success is their youth programs have been so um, outstanding over the years in developing players and they grow up wanting to uh, to be where they are right now. The technology now is, uh, is amazing. They can break down a a game at the end of Friday night and email it to the particular athletes and those football players can watch highlights of their game from Friday night over the weekend, get tape of uh, their opponent and study it at home and, and so technology is just magnificent compared to what it used to be. The 
there's no question my passion and enthusiasm for the games that I do, uh, whether it's the, the shock or, or jinx or, or helping out the driller sometimes, uh, is as good as it's it's ever been, and I look forward to. Uh, I mean, this is a this is a job. If if guys can do it into their 80s, then I'm not sure I'll be doing it into my 80s. Uh, I don't know. I'll be that fortunate, but still, it's a job to where if if you can keep up with the times and keep up with everything, this is a job that you can do for a long time. Oh man, I can hardly wait for those Friday night lights to cover the gridiron. Yeah, you'll have to wait until Friday, but you can catch each game with Don King on AM 1430 The Buzz or visit them online at buzztulsa.com. Ooh, that reminds me. I've got to get my fantasy football team together. You do all that online research to play fantasy sports games? No, I just get on my uniform each week, pretend that I'm a Hall of Fame quarterback in the game, handing it off to Emmett Smith, or having Jerry Rice go long in the end zone, and the fans go wild! That is some kind of fantasy, all right. Stick around, there's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99, or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 frames to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa Best. And our drive through at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. Be sure and join us next week when we meet Tulsa musicians Jabal and Amanda making their way to fame and fortune on The Voice. Special thanks to Drs. Jerome Wade and Susan Thompson for showing us around at the beautiful Okapi Event Center. Thanks too to Dale, Nick, and the rest of the Yoder family for bringing us such amazing furnishings at the Amish Crafted Furniture. And to Dana and her son Nicholas for helping us remember the good old days with a stop at the Ten Penny and Quizzy Shop. And to Don King for the great play-by-play -play action he provides with Jinx Football. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 7th. 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair deal starting at just $99 with two locations, 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show, but we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.